Welcome guys to another video. In this video I'll be showing you how to transition from holding a gun, to aiming with a gun, and to shooting with a gun via animations. But before we get into that, this video was supported by my Patreons. Welcome Naliman to the squad and thank you and all my Patreons for the support. I try to help all my subscribers, but if you would like access to some of the exclusive rewards seen on screen now, please check out my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, let's get into this video. So, first you'll need to have watched my merging animations tutorial. You'll also need to have watched my pick up and draw weapon tutorial. I do demo those tutorials with a sword, but it's exactly the same for a gun except one small difference. I'll post this difference in the comment section and pin it, so please check that before you begin watching. You will also need a holding gun animation, an aiming gun animation, and a shooting gun animation. So the first thing we're going to do is hop into our third person blueprint and create two bool variables one called aiming and one called shooting. If you followed the pick up and draw weapon tutorial successfully, your BP should look something like this. Now we're gonna hop into our animation blueprint. And just like we did in our third person BP, we're gonna create two bool variables called aiming and shooting. Pull off your character ref to bring in the aiming and shooting variables we made. Then alt drag the aiming shooting variables in our anim BP to set them. Plug the character variables into our anim variables and then connect this up coming off the speed. Now we have two variables we can update in our character, which will then be passed to our anim variables. Now open up the anim graph. This is what your anim graph should look like if you followed the tutorials successfully. Open up the state machine, then open up your idle slash run wep drawn state. If you haven't already, make sure in your layered blend node, in the details, the bone name is set to your first spine bone. Mine is called spine underscore 01. Then set the blend depth to 5. And for the animation we're merging into our blend space, make sure it's the holding gun animation. Press the back arrow in the top left and now duplicate our weapon drawn state twice. Call one idle slash run aiming and the other one idle slash run shooting. Open up the aiming one, then we're going to change our holding gun animation to our aiming animation. Then press the back arrow and then open up your shooting state. Change the holding gun animation to the shooting gun animation, then press the back arrow, and now let's add some transitions with the variables we made earlier. Make a transition from the weapon drawn to aiming, and then make one going back. From the weapon drawn to aiming, control drag in our aiming variable. Go back, and then from our aiming to weapon drawn, bring in our aiming variable, pull off a not node, and then plug this in. Now do the exact same thing for our aiming and shooting transition, but use the shooting variable instead. You'll know it's worked when you toggle the variables in the bottom right and the animation transitions. Now, open up your third person BP. First, we're gonna disconnect our sheath weapon from our right click. This line of blueprints will sheath our weapons, so I'm leaving it up to you guys to decide what control you want to trigger this. I'm just gonna move mine out the way for now. As we linked our aiming and shooting variables to the one in the anim BP, all we need to do is change them and our character will change animation. So on our left mouse button, off the weapon drawn true, we're going to bring in a branch with a B and click, then control drag in our aiming variable and plug this in. Then coming off the true, set our shooting variable to true. So if we're looking down the scope, when we left click, we're going to begin shooting. Duplicate all these nodes with control and W. Off the left click released, we're gonna set our shooting to false. So when we left click, if we're aiming, we're gonna shoot. Then when we release the left click, we're gonna stop shooting. Now, for the right click, bring in two branches with B and click. Then control drag in our weapon drawn and shooting variables. Plug them both into the branches. Then from the weapon drawn true, plug that into the shooting branch. Coming off the shooting's false, we'll bring in a flip flop. For those of you who don't know, a flip flop will alternate between A and B each time it's run. From the A, we're gonna alt drag in our aiming and set it to true. We're gonna control drag in our character movement, then pull off this and set max walk speed to 100. Then we're gonna bring in a sequence. In Unreal, every character's camera will be attached to something called a camera boom. And you can think of this as a spring. It's basically put in place to control the camera. 
So if our camera hits a wall, the spring shortens, and then when the wall is gone, the spring stretches out again. So if you ever want to change a camera position, you'll need to shorten the spring length. Otherwise you'll get funny movements when the camera collides with the wall. And you'll notice that although the camera is a good distance away from the player, the camera is still at the location 0, 0, 0. And that's because it's attached to the spring. So, rule of thumb. Change camera position with boom length. Worst case scenario, give the camera a small offset. So, going back to our sequence. Off the zero, we're going to create a timeline. Bring in a float track and set the length to 0.2 seconds. Shift click in here two times to bring in two values. Put one at zero seconds with a value of 400 and one at 0.2 seconds with a value of 50. This is going to change the boom length from 400 to 50 over 0.2 seconds. Your boom might have a different starting length to me, so you can check this by clicking on it and looking in the detail section. Control drag in the boom and set target arm length. Plug the timeline into this. Now for the second sequence, we also want to offset the camera so it's slightly over the player's shoulder. So bring in the follow camera and bring in a move component to node. For this, I use the value of 35 for the Y, 50 for the Z, then minus 3.5 for the Y rotation then 0.2 for over time. Feel free to change these values to fit your game. So now we're shortening the boom length at the same time as offsetting the camera. You may ask, why don't we just move the boom so it's over the shoulder? And to you I'd say, nice question. But the reason this doesn't work is because our rotation is based around our camera boom location. So if we change its X or Y location, we'll be rotating around the shoulder instead of the central point. So not good. Then we have one final thing to do and that is to bring in the use controller rotation your node and set this to true. This node will basically make the character rotate following the mouse. Now duplicate all these nodes, but set aiming to false, set max walk speed to your original walk speed, mine was 600, move controller rotation your to before the move component to, and set it to false. Set the move component to 000 for everything except the time. And finally, flip your timeline so the first value is 50 and the second value is 400. And we're done. So let's quickly recap. In our animation blueprint, we are transitioning between a blended animation of having the weapon drawn, aiming and shooting. These are transitioned by the shooting and aiming variables we made. These variables are directly updated by the character BP. In the character BP, if we're aiming, our left click will begin shooting and stop shooting on click and release. Our right click will set the character to aim, reduce walk speed, and move the camera to the mannequin's shoulder. Then lock the character rotation to the mouse. When clicked again, all these effects will be reversed. So you may have noticed that our character follows us when we look left and right, but not up and down. In the next video, we will be adjusting our blueprint so our character can look around depending on the mouse location. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Like, comment, subscribe, and join my Discord to keep updated with new video releases. Peace. What?